think girls and women tend to choose a path in their professional life that society considers normal. And this I found unfortunate. Sometimes it's hard to be the only woman in the room. I see a lot of like um, unfortunate things like sexism, people having this macho culture in startups, like being successful and, and you know needing to work 24-7. Being a woman in tech and as well a mother of two girls, I'm feeling passionate about supporting women in business and to achieve their dreams as well as I did. It's not about women or men, it's an inclusion of men. We should be working together. We must be working together. I absolutely recommend attending Hackathon. Usually Hackathon is probably the thing number one that you can do as a learning developer, searching for growth and challenge. You will get out of your comfort zone, but also you learn technology from the experts in the field and make it immediately part of your working prototype. We're getting together for one, two or three days typically and play with some technology. And I think this is a perfect, um, that's a perfect place to find out if you really like working in some field. It might happen that you will work with people that you never met before and also at the end you will need to present your project to a large audience. The entire cycle in just under 48 hours. Okay, this intersectionality between technology, politics, geographies, the way people move, the way people think, uh, what's happening with the structures around us, are they to be used or non used, what about agriculture, food, education. To build decentralized marketplaces, to build decentralized funds or tokens or investment schemes, as we call them today, that just governed by software. Uh, it shouldn't be centralized by just three or four major organizations. Uh, it has to be distributed, it has to have this inclusivity uh, uh, that's humanized. We are all needed in these fields, so it can't be just occupied by men. We need a lot of men, human power, you know, in all these fields, and we definitely need women there. AI is the key to big data and has a tremendous potential. Deep learning can be a methodology that will widen human horizons beyond our own capacities, and that will become essentially a help for um, a, a sort of assistance that we really need. It's about a new thinking, it's a disruptive thinking, it's about building new business models. It's, it's important to know that you don't need to have 20 years of experience. Uh, people think that they have to code to attend a hackathon. In fact, coding is one part of it, but people can actually offer insights and problems they want to, to see solved. And, and be part of the development of a solution. And imagine if you win, how bright does this line look on your CV? Because I see growing interest in STEM, STEM research. The, when it comes to women and girls, they want to be more engaged, and that's natural because this is where they are needed. I can, I can completely recommend this experience to anybody who might be interested in helping helping women uh, find their foot or improve their footing uh, in the tech sector. We will be successful when we don't have to call it women in tech, just technologies. And I will cross my fingers for women plus plus.